Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Excuse my voice hanging around in buildings that allow a lot of smoke is starting to really suck for the vocal cords. Um, the I just wanted to put something out there on something that's been uh, overlooked lately, and that is the the lawsuits that the NRA uh, is facing, and uh, the, the New York, the Attorney General of New York, uh, really has her ducks in a row. I was just looking over some court documents that were sent to me by a friend for an update. And uh, I'm gonna talk about Wayne LaPierre's travel costs and the person who uh, sets up his private flight. So I'm gonna give you a couple things here that I have in my notes. Uh, excuse me, I'm operating off of a laptop and a scratch pad. Um, but in reading some of the um, the testimony uh, and, and the court, courtroom paperwork for some of the people involved in this lawsuit here. Um, Wayne LaPierre used a uh, private plane service called Corporate America Aviation and they offer their tag is they offer global corporate luxury air travel for executives, travel agents, event planners, and high net worth travelers. That's for like millionaires, right? The guys and gals who are well off and can use whatever they have, their money that they've created, they have built their wealth. Yeah, it's fine. But Wayne, you didn't build anybody's wealth. Uh, that's the dollars for the members who you're supposed to be uh, going to bat for, not uh, not being uh, what you've been. So there were flights uh, all over the place, uh, all around the country, to include Nebraska, to pick up, uh, I think it was Wayne's, uh, or Susan's niece, uh, to the Bahamas and back and forth. We've, we've seen and heard some of this stuff come out, but those jets, they rent for $7,000 and up per hour, per hour. Um, think about how many long flights you've had to take and times times 7,000 per hour, that's, that's insane. So the New York Attorney General um, in an amended complaint, which I'll have linked it down below if you wanna read it, there's a lot of pages in there. It's gonna be overwhelming if you open it, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Uh, but uh, the person that Wayne had as his de facto part-time uh, travel agent, uh, Gail Sanford. So her sole duty was to arrange jets for the LaPierres and also every now and then a couple other people in the, in the agency, but it was Wayne's personal uh, travel agent. <clears throat> she was paid $15,000 a month uh, in, until 2012. Uh, in 2015, it was up to $19,000 a month to set up a plane flight. Um, then she was told to start adding a 10% commission to the tab for the planes uh, so that she could keep, a, she could have a little more money. Then later Ackerman McQueen, the advertising agency that had the falling out with the NRA that tried to become the sole you know, the power grab in the NRA, you'll have to follow the back and forth. There's several videos on my channel and others about that stuff. But Ackerman McQueen, on top of what <laughs> NRA was paying her, uh, they started paying $4,000 a month in addition. So if she's getting 19,000 a month from NRA, another 4K a month from Ackerman McQueen. I don't care how many flights you schedule. Uh, that's that's a lot of lot of dough. Lot of dough. Um, in in 2018, <laughs> in 2018, she drew 2.6 million dollars in payments from the NRA to book flights. That tells you where your money went and how it was pissed away by this organization that thought they had the world by the balls. Oh, and she's not a licensed travel agent. And when she retired, she got an uh, annual contract of $318,000. A lot of money getting paid out to people who maybe, uh, so somebody's, somebody's worth is very subjective, but uh, if you want me to book you some flights, I'll take 318k a year, right? Most people would, but is that worth it? Like, am I earning a 318 thousand dollars worth of work? No, it's not. But again, it's all subjective. People who own a business and pay their people what they think they're worth. Um, <clears throat> and then there was some back and forth from the test of, uh, during the court testimony. Uh, late Wayne Lapierre was asked um, how she came to be hired, and he pled the fifth. That, you know, 
yes, you have the right to not incriminate yourself, but it leaves, leaves questions there. And then when uh, Sanford testified, um, she gave up some information that I guess, you know, Wayne didn't want us on flights to Nebraska to get uh, family members and, and uh, how she was told not to mention those things on uh, any of the billing uh, so that it would look more like a business trip. Hmm. That's you know, an issue with the IRS now. The IRS is all over that. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, to make 318000 to $2.6 million a year to call like Travelocity or Hotels.com or, or whatever, you get what I'm saying. I'm, I'm obviously exaggerating a little, but that's what the NRA has been doing with the funds of the members. And that's why the NRA doesn't have much love. Oh, and uh, in addition to billing Ackerman McQueen and the NRA, LaPierre told her to also bill the NRA ILA. So she was getting paid from them too. A lot of money, a lot of uh, alleged crooked activity. And it looks like uh, they've got some serious fighting to do because the AG in New Jersey has done her homework. Guys and gals, let me know what you think down below. Another day here at SHOT. Hopefully I'll still have a voice today. Um, if you're out there, stop me, say hi. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you who are here. And uh, until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, community safe. Remember, a gun on your hip is way more effective than a cop on the phone. Take care.